Hey there, folks. I'm Zerfall. I'm All Dragon. And welcome back to uh, Barret M. Hero for the Prisoners for the PC88. Uh, last we left off, uh, we just had a fight. That fight didn't happen in this version of reality. I accidentally uh, loaded the wrong state and then proceeded to save over the actual right state. Um, but we got back to where we're supposed to be. So we are now ready to continue exploring this cave. All right, <clears throat> and uh, we are playing as, let's see, Ayuto Asaki, correct? I believe so, and Nay is in our party. Right. right. And it looks like we're going to have something to do right away. It's a tall stone pillar. Maybe this is noteworthy somehow. There's some strange pictures on it. I don't understand what they mean. More importantly, the, does the river doesn't look crossable here either. Oh, I guess until the yeah. sun falls over. <laughs> the, the river. This is where the fish lives. Hmm. You stupid ocean! Wow, just hating on uh, ocean dubbing. Jeez. Uh, this isn't the ocean, so why are you randomly yelling at it? Maybe we should go back and inform that poor excuse for a Sean Connery. Tell him we found some kind of grave marker. Can't get through this. Oh, that's... No matter how I look at it, it's way too dangerous to leap across. Oh, this is the exact same thing, okay. Yep. Alright, but we do have abilities that we should be checking out. Like, well, have we learned? We haven't heard. Can we push this? Oh, okay, let's pull try it. pulling it. There's nothing to pull. I accidentally clicked it instead of pushing. <laughs> I'm just curious if I can do something uh, at the wrong time, which is actually the right time to... Well, I guess no. I'm... Stop clicking the wrong button. <laughs> so in the last game, space brought up the menu, but in this game... In this game, it's escape. All right, let's try pushing it. Hmm. Uh, I bet the professor will get mad if I destroyed this without his consent. Maybe we should look around a bit more. Is there a way this way? No, we're not allowed to go that way. All right, well, let's go back to the professor. Professor Marianne! And I'm forgetting who is who now. I thought there were notes. Uh, yeah, okay, right. Um, I thought this whole pretense seemed kind of sketchy at first, but... Now I think I may have stumbled onto a scoop here. And actually, if I recall correctly, that's, uh... You're not afraid at all, Ayuto. I think that's, uh, the same stuff. Hmm. Uh, not sure what kind of fate is in store for us. Nope. Guess something, rather. Guess we'll, like, give it all we've got, Ayuto. I think this may be the same thing. If this guy is, like, don't... Oh, no, I think it is different. That professor, I've seen him quite often on TV. Never mind me, I'm simply musing to myself. It's your problem. Go take a long walk off a short pier. That is the same, though. I don't know. Maybe some people. <clears throat> you, know, you know, when you're out of slits, you're out of pier. Mm. I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. Probably scared. Yeah, this is the that one's the same though. Okay. okay. All right, let's let's try this guy first. Yeah, we seem to. Be... All right. All right. What did I make this guy sound like? <laughs> oh, what a fool I am. Jeez, let me think. For a second here. I don't I don't remember at all. I think it was a <clears throat> fairly generic older man kind of voice. Of situation. Uh, the Great Pyramid. Well, yeah, I have an easy way to really find out. <laughs> <laughs> Just to like how you feel? As director of this expedition. Oh, I know. Uh, what? 
You found a stone pillar with Egyptian hieroglyphs on it? I must stay here. Professor? Very well, Ayuto. Guide us all to that stone pillar, if you please. Mm. Oh my, mm. this is indeed an obelisk. Hey, I could have told you that. Oh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, an Obi Wan, Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Actually, this is a Obel Ben. <laughs> This stone pillar is called an obelisk. The ancient Egyptians have been known to inscribe them with hieroglyphs. They are invaluable pieces of cultural history. So we destroy it, right? This is a great find, Ayuto. Hmm. I am betting you'd like to know what's written on here, wouldn't you? Not really. I, I guess? The truth is, I do want to know. Oh ho! So that's what it says. The pharaoh's son is watching over the river's surface. This is likely referring to where we're currently standing. In short, the pharaoh of Egypt had an adopted son. He was likely the only one allowed to enter this designated sacred ground. Furthermore, waiting to be taken into the Duat, the realm of the dead, in order to be reborn. Sounds to me like some kind of religious scripture. Oh, not bad, lad. For you have guessed correctly. Religion was a vital aspect of life for the ancient Egyptians. These hieroglyphs report of a ceremony performed by them back then. But what was the reason to hold a ceremony near this river? which just so happens to be inside a subterranean cavern hidden beneath the Great Pyramid. Well, we'll worry about that another time. Would you mind continuing your investigation, Ayuto? Now then, let's see here. But, right. Professor, we, we, can't, we can't get across. Yep. <clears throat> Ayuto, be careful not to fall. I don't care what roundabout method you choose, Ayuto. Certainly you can think of some way for us to get over to the other side. Oh, you don't care, do you? Careful what you say. You sure got a lot of guts. I hope they stay on the inside. This whole thing is dangerous. Hey, don't you worry your pretty head over it too much, okay? In all my years as a photojournalist, I've never heard any reports of someone dying during a research excavation. He's only been being a photojournalist for about a year. Yeah. The professor seems to have taken a shine to you. Good for you, you know. Means I'm not stuck doing menial tasks. <sighs> Jerk. I keep thinking monsters are gonna pop out everywhere. I want to go home. I am still confused as to why he, out of all the people outside, he was like, yeah, the little girl. <laughs> I mean, does uh, he care what happens to her? No. <laughs> You're blocking my view. Mind getting out of my way. Uh, even from the side? You're not looking this direction. Hey, wasn't it your bright idea to have your, our graduation trip be to go to Egypt? Was it? Don't bullshit me, man. This is all your fault. You better treat us, treat us three out of it, out to an expensive restaurant afterward. Yeah, if you're alive. Hang in there, Ayudo. All right. Well, first off, oh, I guess. Oh, do you know what we have to do? Here's the 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 trick of it all. That's the same uh, same expression as when you join a spear, but look! Ayudo, uh, you you're actually enjoying yourself? What do you mean? All I'm saying is that the look on your face tells me you're happy to be exploring and possibly uncovering the mystery behind these ancient ruins. Uh, I guess so? If I'm no expert in this field, I am actually loving the whole exploration concept. Whoops. 
And then now we can get her back onto our team. <laughs> what a meddlesome classmate. All right. Oh. I recall it saying some kind of weird stuff about a rebirth on it. Can't get through this way. Okay, yeah, that's the same. Let's uh, go ahead. Push it. All right, let's try pushing. If we can push down this obelisk. Yeah, it looks tall enough that we should be able to cross over to the other side. <laughs> and if it's weak enough to be pushed over uh, pretty easily, surely it won't break in half when it lands. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe if both of us push it together, we'll be able to knock it over. Gotcha. Oh, sorry, I was doing an imitation of the Minotaurs in uh, uh, Dungeon Hack. <laughs> Uh, why did they turn the lights off for these noises? <laughs> oh, that did the trick. You're telling me. We did it. Oh, I see now. Good brain work, lad. I'm not mad at all. All right, a utopia. You're free to scout ahead. Gee, thanks. A utopia, be careful not to fall. That's the same. Sure got a lot of guts. Yeah, okay, these people are saying the same stuff, right. so. Ooh, different music. We can't change characters nope. anymore. A scene transition? A boat. A boat? There's a boat here. I should check around a bit more. Ah, I see. I never thought I'd be on a boat. It's a nice boat. Oh, there's something up there. Yes, this pole supports the mast. You can hear creaking. Uh, it's creeping me. Well, I see this thing. I didn't talk to it. Can I just leave now? Another creaking. I should check around a bit more, game player. Check around a bit more, I said. Oh, hello. Yeah. Ah. Uh. What's up, mummy? Eek, a Yudo. What are you hiding behind me for? Still, what the heck? I wonder if this mummy serves any purpose. It's probably the sun watching over the river. Time for me to report back. This place is starting to give me the creeps. Just starting to. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else he's encountered so far was normal. I can't recruit them as a teammate. Oh. But I want my mummy. There's Not nothing to pull. I wonder. Whoops, I'm trying to pull again. <laughs> Alright, let's try pushing. Uh, uh, no way am I going to touch that thing. Okay. I mean, we only have so many actions. <laughs> Do we have actions with uh, Nay? Oh, yes. Uh, Nay's actions are hip-hop music. Everyone, let's get up and dance! There's no time for that. <laughs> oh, and that did uh, use some MP. Oh, no! Mm, a boat. Did I hear that right, uh, Yuto? Yeah, and not only that, but oddly enough, there's a mummy on it. Mummy's alive. No, a no, boat. it's dead. It's quite dead. <laughs> a boat with a mummy on board? This could be a movie. <laughs> mummy on board! A talking mummy? Hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, these runes are providing me endless entertainment and wonder. None of us have died yet. Where are you getting your entertainment from? Yeah, I should talk to everybody else first. I see. This is indeed a well preserved mummy. If we leave with just this mummy in tow, we could sell it for enough profit to live like kings for the rest of our lives. Yes. 
they would use it for medicinal purposes. Oh, without a doubt. That reminds me, during one excavation back in my prime, I did transport a mummy out from its rune. However, during transport, it then succumbed to decay rapidly. Rapid decay. When exposed to air and other atmospheric changes, a mummy will undergo rapid deterioration, yet remain pristine if left untouched. So you mean uh, like uh, opening this place up or perhaps uh, uh, being left over a large, uh, very humid river? Uh, yeah, but uh, there's plankton that glows. Kuroe. We have not even scratched the surface of our purpose here. There are still more secrets beyond our imagination still lying deep beneath these runes. Wait, there's still more to explore? Precisely, Ayuto. We're going to take this boat and venture deeper into the unknown. While I examine this mummy for further clues, find a way to get this boat sailing. Hi guys, look for oars. The river's surface appears to be calm. Ayuto, can you think of some way to get the boat moving? Professor, I demand you stop ordering everyone around. Incredible. I only imagine going on an adventure and finding treasure as the stuff found in comic books. Never in my wildest dreams did I expect to be doing anything like this. Nope, someone's underneath. Hey, what you doing down there? None of your beeswax! Guess she's going through that rebellious stage. My mind's made up. This is the scoop of the century! No doubt about it! No doubt about it. Silence. I'm trying to take a nap. Burp. Is there a way up there? Oh, Ayuto. Now's not the time to abandon ship. Aw, oh, but I want to. Oh, I bet you you can walk around. No? What the heck? Hmm. Um, could you tell me what we're doing here on this boat? Well, we're trying to talk to our friends up there, but uh, apparently unable to. Oh, it's a weekend. Well, we can talk to Nay at least. I have to hand it to you. You're pretty brave. Oh, you don't? She gives him the two finger guns. <laughs> hey, what is that supposed to mean? I'm just surprised they put people where you can't get to. <coughs> Excuse me. I had. I'm less surprised, but. Uh, this early in the game, I should say. <laughs> I'd imagine that this is what we gotta do. <clears throat> A thin yet sturdy rope is hanging from the mast. I had exactly. Uh, five peanut MMs before we started recording. Yeah. Um, the reason for five is it was a Halloween treat portion, and so they give you five. Mm -hmm. If I pull on this rope, the sail should open, I think. These underground caverns are well known for their um, their uh, windy conditions. Yeah, yeah, constant wind. I pull on this rope, the sail should open, I think. We had a brief pause, so I, I think I read that before, but that's yeah. okay. <laughs> Alright, let's set sail. Just a little tug in. Oh, uh, and, he has, and he has a hernia. Oh, that's a very gossamer wing. Uh, uh, not wings. Uh, sails. <laughs> Heck yeah! Whoa? 
the sail, sail popped up. Oh, I'll let you read it. Full of wind. And the boat started. <laughs> the boat has started to move. It, isn't it the boat have started to move? <laughs> the boat have started to move. Oh man, we're on a, a voyage across the uh, ocean, as Ayudo called it. Can we, can we no, go we, fishing? we can still move. Okay. Oh, hey. So I guess the next time we're on a boat, uh, MFers, and we're <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're gonna find out where we're going. We'll have to talk to everybody here. Um, we will see you then. See you next time. Bye.